Happy Sunday everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tawanda and I'm the Migraine Crafting Diva. And on this channel, I do decorating on a budget, DIYs, and hauls with a sprinkle of migraine enlightenment. And today's DIYs are gonna be thrift flips. Um, I am in the process of doing a little refresh in my home. Um, this was something that I was gonna do back in January, but I um, just didn't have the time. So um, the next couple videos will be just um, me doing um, some refreshes and some thrift flips on some items to um, do just a little refresh for my house. So the first item I have here, or for DIY number one here, I have this um, refrigerator cabinet and um, I purchased it for $35 from the Repurpose Project. And as you can see here on the top, it has like a little um, cigarette burn. So we thought, well, when I was talking to the lady in the store, I we thought that maybe it was just like a surface um, burn, but it actually wasn't. But um, you'll see what I do to remedy that um, situation. But here I am just taking some warm water and some um, Dawn and I am just giving it a really good wipe down the inside and the out. And I also have this little um, caddy. I think it might be a magazine rack. I'm not really sure. Some type of like crate holder or something. Well, anywho, I'm also gonna do a, do this as a thrift flip also. And I think it was, I think I believe it was 466 what I paid for this at the thrift store, or actually at the Goodwill in Ohio. And, um, I went ahead and gave that a good wipe down with some hot water and some Dawn also. And then I'm going to take my orbital sander, orbital sander, excuse me. And I am going to just go ahead and sand both items. So I'm going to start off by sanding the, um, the white clad uh, refrigerator cabinet or ice box, ice box cabinet with um, some 80 grit sandpaper and um this is what it looks like after i sand it with the 80 the 80 grit sandpaper and then i use the 180 grit and then i moved on to 220 and i still wasn't able to remove the cigarette burn so um i just kind of left that alone at for the time being and then i moved on to the cabinet itself i gave it a um a, some slight sanding on it just to be able to rough it up a little bit and then I went ahead and used the Krylon black chalk black chalk paint and um, I gave it I ended up giving it um, four coats total so here I am just um, painting it and I would just like to say that I did sand in between coats so that it would give um, the cabinet a smoother finish as I was doing, as I was getting ready to upload this video, I realized that Sunday is Father's Day, and I thought, you know what? Both of these items that I am um, flipping today are both items that could be given to um, a dad for Father's Day because this is a ref ice box refrigerator cabinet, and this will go perfectly in um, a man cave. And also the next thrift flip would also go perfectly in a man cave. So um, um, this vis this wasn't a Father's Day video, but I would just like to say um, Happy Father's Day. So here it is, I have um, after the four coats and this is what it's looking like. Um, you can still see the, um, the cigarette burn. So I have, I mixed up some water with some um, 
Waverly Antique Wax. I kind of, I just watered it down to see if I could give it a couple coats and see if I would be able to um, cover the, the mark on the top of the um, cabinet and I wasn't able to. So then I decided I was going to um, paint the top of the cabinet. So what I ended up doing was taking some white paint and also some of the, um, I believe it was cashew. Um, I'll have to wait to see what I show in a little bit here, but I'm almost certain, well, let me not say I'm almost certain. I believe it's cashew and white that I mixed up. So basically what I did was I just took some of the white, um, Waverly white paint, chalk paint, and then the Waverly cashew paint. And I kind of just went back and forth. I mixed some and then I just used some um, white by itself and some of the cashew by itself until um, I was happy with what the top looked like. And then um, once I had that done, and excuse me here, I was, this was like day three or day four doing um, these DIYs. It took me a long time and I'm in my nightgown. Sorry about that. Um, I was just, I woke up in, um, in an okay mood. So I went ahead and just started and went ahead and just started working on it. So then I ended up taking a white, I mean, a wet paper towel and then just blended it in all over the top until um, I was happy with it. And then I took some more of that um, watered down antique wax and then I put the, I mixed some of that on top of it also. And then I let it dry. And then once it was completely dry, then I just took the Waverly Antique Wax just by itself and I um, just started wiping it all over the, um, the cabinet. So here I am just wiping it down and then put go, then I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding the um the Waverly antique wax to it. And then once I had that done, I went ahead and started to um re go ahead and reassemble it. So I ended up putting the, the door back on and the hinges and the um white clad sign. Now I um I also when I took the um the the hardware off I soaked it overnight in some vinegar and water and then um, once it soaked overnight and then I took some um, baking soda I don't know what baking soda it might have been baking powder I can't remember but um, I took that and I just um, started to scrub with that and the the hardware is gorgeous it came out so nice I, I was just so excited when it came out so I think I'm actually gonna end up doing that with um, my bedroom furniture because we ha our bedroom furniture is like a 1940s or 1950s set that I purchased from um, the um, Rose uh, Roses the little um, thrift, sh thrift store that I shop at here in my town um, we purchased that when we first brought our home almost seven years ago so I think I'm going to try and soak the hardware and see if I can get it back to its original color but um, here I am just going and adding that um, Waverly Antique Wax and I'm just going to add it until um, I'm happy with the what it I'm um, until I'm happy with um, what I see and then once that's done, that'll be it for this DIY. And look at it. I think it turned out so nice. And you can barely see um, that spot on the cabinet. So, um, and then once this was, once I finished all of this, I went back and I gave it, um, I sprayed it with the Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel um, Spray. And I gave it, I believe I sprayed it three times um, the whole cabinet and then once I did that that was gonna be that was it for this DIY
and you'll see me here i did wipe some of the watered down um waverly antique wax onto the top of the cabinet after i have put the um just the waverly antique wax and then i also put it on the cabinet itself um here i'm doing that now but um when it dried i actually didn't like the um the sheen of it so i actually went back and did another coat of the um carlon chalk paint over the cabinet and then once it was completely dry I gave it three coats of the Rust-Oleum Clear Enamel Spray and that was it for this DIY and it came out oh I love it so much it's so nice So here is the hardware look at how nice that turned out like it is so pretty um i was so happy with the way that it came out um so i'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of what it looked like before so that you can see the difference and it's it's night and day it really is So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, reattach the hardware and that is going to be it for this DIY. It came out so nice. Um, my husband actually wanted to take it to put in his man cave. Um, yeah, but um, it's currently in our living room. And I was actually thinking about um, actually putting or purchasing um, a cooler to put inside of it. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I, I absolutely love it. I think it came out so nice. Um, I can't wait to do my next furniture flip. Um, so yeah, that is gonna be it for this DIY and we're gonna move on to DIY number two. DIY number two and this DIY gave me a run for my money um, so here I am trying to sand it down and um, I was getting nowhere I don't know if they just painted over the wood and then sealed it but I tried all anything that I, I tried all types of stuff trying to get it sanded it took me forever just to get the front of it sanded um, and then I decided you know what I'm gonna try some glue gun on the paper and that didn't work and not even thinking I was like oh I could just use my heat gun so I ended up using my heat gun after like probably four or five fails of trying to get the paper and stuff off um, so I ended up using the heat gun and it came off just fine so I did that on both sides because the sides both had stickers on them and then the um, the the longer panels have paint so I was able to get the one side completely um, to get everything off, but it just took forever. Like it was taking me hours to try and get all of the paint off. So I ended up um, scrapping what I was gonna do and um, doing something else. I believe this might be a toolbox, but I'm not really sure. So here I am, I didn't have my glasses on and I thought that I had picked up uh, some black paint and it was actually gray. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to use it anyway. And I thought, eh. So then I ended up going and getting my um, 
my black chalk paint. So, um, and then I went ahead and the Corallon black chalk paint, excuse me. And then I went ahead and I gave it two coats of black chalk paint. And then um, once it was completely dry, I gave it two coats of um, the Waverly white chalk paint. And then I let that dry. Um, I believe, I'm trying to remember, I. so here I'm just telling you that I did two coats of the white and two coats of the black. And then once they were completely dry, um, I took, um, I, I printed out, I did, I'm just, on this DIY I'm doing the reverse um, transfer technique. So I printed out um, vintage vinyl because this is where we actually keep our records at. And it was, it looked kind of weird having the records in there with um, it saying like strawberries on it. So here what I'm doing is I just wet the um, the paper and I'm just tearing it. So then I just started to just use my finger. It was just much easier. And then once it was wet, I just tore it. And then um, once I got it to the right size that I wanted, I then took some of the Mod Podge and I'm using matte Mod Podge also. Um, I took the Mod Podge and I just put a thin layer on the paper to um, to kind of glue them together so that I could have like an even um, the words will the, the words will line up so um, here I am you'll see me doing that here shortly and then once I did that I let it sit for a little bit and let it dry and then I took the um, the Mod Podge and I did um, a nice coat on top of the vintage vinyl and then I flipped it over and put it um and let it dry overnight onto this toolbox now our record um holder so um yeah so once it was dry the next day and I couldn't sleep so I was up pretty early that day and um I actually went ahead and just I probably should have waited a little bit longer but um that I think I was up at like four four or five o'clock that morning um, I had a migraine so I also had my little um, well you'll see in a little bit here but so I was up um, trying to prepare myself for work I um, when I have migraines I have like certain things that I do before I go to work in the mornings so um, here I am just applying the Mod Podge and I'm gonna flip it over and then so once it's completely dry I took some um, some water and a napkin or a paper towel, whatever you want to use, and I just kind of lightly, um, actually not lightly, I, I went ahead and just wet the paper and then I used a napkin and kind of rubbed it to um, remove the paper so that the um, ink would stay on the, um, the, um, toolbox here so here you'll see the process here so here it is all completely dry and I have my water there and I was gonna start off by using my my hand but I was just like yeah oh, this is probably gonna take too long so then I just stamped it with the paper towel and then I just started to rub and um, there were some areas that I rubbed a little too hard um, but I still think it came out really nice so um, yeah so here I am and I think I poked my head around so you could see that I have my um, Sifley on. I was using that to kind of help. I wear it for 20 minutes when I in the mornings when I have migraines. Actually, I wear it for 20 minutes no matter every day, but um, I usually wear it a little bit longer when I have a migraine. So here I'm just kind of wiping it off, and as you can see, it is coming out really nice. And there are some spots where, like I said, I wiped a little too hard and I took off some of the letters, but I still ended up liking the way that it turned out. So once I had it, um, once I was satisfied with that and I had all the paper removed, I took the Waverly, um, the, um, the watered down Waverly antique wax that I have in my little jar and I went ahead and I, um, applied it to the rest of the the toolbox here so the watered down Waverly was a little too light so I went back over everything 
with um, just the Waverly Antique Wax itself. And that was going to be it for this DIY. And I believe today is going to be a year that I've been doing uh, YouTube. And I would just like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and continue to watch me every Sunday. And if you're new to my channel, I would like you to say welcome. And I hope that you um, like my channel and will subscribe. And that is going to be it for today's DIY. Guys, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And like I always say, be nicer, be kinder. God will love you for it. And I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see you next Sunday. And goodbye. <laughs>